Hi guys, welcome to our new video where, where we'll be discussing about one of the problem from lead code and the problem statement's name is poor pigs. The difficulty level for this question is hard. Now let's first understand the question and the problem constraints given to us. Then we'll try to develop an intuition and slowly and gradually reach to a point that uh, gives us the best optimized solution for this. Now. The problem statement over here states that you have been given a fixed number of buckets and there is exactly one bucket which contains poison. So there is only one bucket which will contain poison in it. Now to figure out which one is poisonous, you have to feed it to some pigs because you cannot do a human testing definitely for a poison there. So, uh, yeah, so we'll choose pigs to feed this liquid to and uh, we can figure out which pig dies and according to which we will understand which bucket has the poison in it. Now, to feed pigs, we have few conditions or we have few steps how to feed pigs. So you can choose any number of pigs. Okay. Now, for each pig that you choose uh, to feed, it can consume any number of buckets at a single point, point in time. So that means you can ask a pig to consume even 100 bucket of liquid and it will take no time. So let's, let's uh, ignore the point that it will take some time to consume the liquid as well. So you can also ask the pigs to consume more than one bucket of liquid. Now you have to wait for certain minutes for that poison to start showing its reaction. Now, you have total in all a fixed amount of time to test all the buckets that are available to you. You cannot keep testing it with one pig or let's say uh, very less number of pigs and uh, do it for a long duration, but you have been given a set time in which you have to finish the testing and come up with the result. And the poison takes a certain amount to show its response. That is, that means that the pig will die in certain amount of time. So you have to figure out now you have to figure out that what is the number of minimum number of pigs that are required to find the bucket that is poisonous. Okay. Now, when you have, uh, when you, uh, ask a pig to consume a liquid you cannot ask another pig to consume a uh, bucket you have to wait for some time for that particular minimum time to die so that at least you know that if this bucket was poisonous or not okay so that's the whole question now the constraint that have been given to you is stating that the number of buckets can vary from one to thousand you can have maximum thousand buckets from uh, one so minimum is one maximum is thousand and the time to die would be lesser than the time to test definitely because if let's say you have uh, 10 minutes of the time to die that means 10 minutes it will take to show the reaction and you can only give the result you have only five minutes to test this theory you cannot do it because at least for one pig to consume and uh, show result, it will take minimum of 10 minutes. So that's why the time to die will be always less than the time to test. And that can be ranging from one to 100. Now this is the question. Now the first, first solution that comes to my mind is, let's say I have uh, 60 minutes to test and uh, the poison takes 10 minutes or to show its reaction that means I, I can do six tests in the given time I can just do six tests and if I want to test 1000 bucket that means six divided by 1000 is the number of picks that are required but that is a huge number of picks that you would require right and uh, if it is a live scenario it will cost you something right and it would be a huge risk to gather all those pigs and uh, do the testing. So you, you want to minimize the number of pigs and come up with an approach where you have, let's say, 
वन टू थ्री और लेट से लेस देन टेन पिक्स फॉर टेस्टिंग लेट से थाउजेंड बाकेट्स सो हाउ कैन यू कम अप विद दैट अप्रोच नाउ लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द ब्रूट फोर्स अप्रोच दैट वी जस्ट डिस्कस एंड देन स्लोली ग्रेजुअली कम अप विद द इंट्यूशन एंड स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ वी कैन रिड्यूस द नंबर ऑफ पिक्स दैट वुड बी यूज इन द टेस्टिंग सो लेट्स डिस्कस द ब्रूट फोर्स अप्रोच वी हैव बीन गिवन थ्री पैरामीटर्स एज इनपुट फर्स्ट वन इज नंबर ऑफ बाकेट्स सेकेंड इज द मिनट्स टू डाई एंड द थर्ड वन इज मिनट्स टू टेस्ट now let's let's shorten the names first uh i'll i'll refer the number of buckets as b the uh, minutes to die as die and the minutes to test as test just for simplicity and easier for uh, the writing purposes so the first intuition that clicks my mind is let's find out how many test i can do in uh, the time to test uh, so how many test i can perform so the number of test that i can perform in the given time limit is uh, sorry this would be test divided by die so let's say uh, for example right now we have been given five buckets and the time to die is 15 minutes and the time to test is 60 so this means i can do i can do four test in the given time frame so but my bucket is uh, more than four that means this will give me an intuition that let's get two picks so the first pick will uh, let's say i have four test so i have these four test uh, over here and the fifth bucket over here so i'll ask the first pick to stand in line 1 second pick to stand in line 2 and the first pick drinks this bucket Th second pick pick would drink this bucket and we'll wait for 15 minutes if nothing happens the first pick will move to this bucket and for 15 minutes we'll wait then again to third bucket and then to fourth bucket but but we can also do one thing let's reduce one pick and uh, take that fifth bucket in the same line so what happens if i have this fifth bucket in the same line so let's say this one pick has drank this liquid and for 15 minutes nothing happens to him so nothing happened over here he come up to the second bucket drinks the second bucket nothing happens to him okay he comes to the third bucket nothing happens to him for the 15 minutes now i have already taken 45 minutes of my given time from 65 uh, 60 minutes now he uh, the sheep uh, or the pig comes to the fourth bucket and nothing happens for next 15 minutes that means 60 minutes have passed that means that the fifth bucket because we have exactly one bucket that is poisonous so if all these four bucket did not do anything to the pig that means the fifth bucket is the bucket that contains the poison and my task was not to uh, kill the pig my task was to find out if which bucket contains the poison so now i i surely know my fifth bucket would contain poison so we reduced uh, from 2 to 1 pig now what happens if my number of bucket increases to 15 now i can do a uh, five test per pig that means so for uh, if i take one pig one pig can perform five tests right in that 60 minutes of duration so that means i will require how many pigs three pigs because for 15 buckets i need uh, at least three lines of these and that's why i would need three pigs for that but do you really need three pigs can we reduce the number of pigs to uh, at least two let's say is it possible let's think it through so let's say if i ask this first pig to drink all the five buckets at once and if i wait for 15 minutes and this pig does not die that means that means that clearly states that my first row does not contain the 
poisonous bucket. Now I'll ask this pig to again move to the row 2 and it will drink all the liquid from the second row. If the pig dies, that means I am very sure that the poisonous liquid lies in this second row, either of these five buckets, right? Now, now I at least have figured out from the 15 buckets, I have a limited range of five buckets. I And now I can ask my second pig. So this is my pig one. Okay. Now I can ask my second pig to start drinking water from this column. So from this column, at least I am sure that this bucket will do nothing to him, no harm. This will do no harm because my second row contains the poisonous bucket. So even if the pig drinks this, this, uh, these two buckets or not, that will not have any impact. And the time is also uh, zero because time to consume the liquid is also zero. So there is no harm for the pig to consume the complete row. So now I'll wait for 15 minutes. Now, if I wait for 15 minutes, that means, and if the pig does not die, that means the poison was not there in the first, first bucket of the second row even. Now, if I ask the same pig, the second pig to drink all the liquid from this second row and wait for 15 minutes, nothing happens. So that means I, my second bucket from the second row also does not contain and simultaneously we'll keep moving and even if uh, till this fourth bucket the pig does not die the second pig does not die that means definitely this is my poisonous liquid because i know that the first pig died drinking the water from the second row so and my second pig did, did not die drinking the water till the fourth column that means the fifth column of the second row contains the poisonous liquid so now from three pigs i have reduced to two pigs now let's increase the number of bucket now let's increase the number of buckets from 15 to 20. now why i am moving in the fashion of five only because we can perform five tests per per cycle right because this division was resulting in four, that means five tests can be done. So that's why I'm moving ahead with multiple of five, but you can also take this as 19 or 16, anything uh, after 15. So that won't uh, impact the, the logic. So now let's take uh, another row. So this is my fourth row, which contains again five buckets. Now, again, with the sheep one, I would ask to drink from the first row, wait for 15 minutes and simultaneously my second sheep is also drinking from, from the columns. So the sheep second is, has drank the column one uh, at the same time and we are waiting for 15 minutes and we are just uh, hoping that they either die or they don't die. If they die, we will be sure that uh, this is my poisonous liquid. But if they don't die, we'll continue our test for another set. So let's say uh, I had 20 buckets and uh, the sheep one died drinking the water from the row three. So that means my poison is in row three and the second sheep dies drinking the water from the column three. So that means this is my poisonous liquid. So we need only two sheep, even if we have 20 buckets. Now, even if I have 25 buckets, I'll require again, same number of sheep. So if my bucket is less than 25, I would, and greater than five, I would require only two sheep. But if it was less than five, definitely one sheep was required to test five buckets. Now, this is the intuition that I was talking about. Now, what intuition I have got is that I have a test set of time to test divide by time to die this whole plus one. This would be my test set and the powers of this 
test set is the number of sheep that would be uh, number of pigs that would be required over here we had this as 5 right so if the number was in a uh, range of 5 to the power 2 that means we need two sheep if the number of buckets is in the range of 5 to the power 1 that means we require one sheep so that means any number of bucket ranging from uh, sorry ranging from 1 to 5 we require only one sheep if the bucket ranges from 6 to 25 anything from 6 to 25 we need two sheep if my number of bucket ranges from 26 to 125 I would require three sheep how how we come up with this that we require only three sheep for now so what I would say is let's let's arrange this 125 let's let's say you have 120 or 125 let's take the upper limit let's arrange these 125 buckets in three dimension so this is my three dimension so i will have five as the length so five buckets in the length five buckets in the height and five buckets in the depth so on x-axis I have 5 buckets, on y-axis I have 5 buckets and on z-axis again I have 5 buckets. So I have arranged the, the liquid uh, buckets in the three-dimensional space and each sheep is responsible to figure out uh, the row or, uh, or uh, yeah actually the row which is culprit for it, it dying right so if it is three dimension if sheep one find uh, let's us find the row on the y-axis which row would kill the sheep we know at least on which y-axis and correspondingly sheep two will figure out which uh, column on the x-axis kills it and uh, the third one is pig which uh, third pig would help us finding out the z so it would give us a coordinate of x y and z so that's why we need three pigs to figure out the poisonous bucket for range of uh, 26 to 125 now for 126 to 625 we only require four sheep that means this is again going to fourth dimension so we would arrange the uh, buckets in four dimension let's say so this is the intuition and this is the code so this is the basic logic so what we say is we have to figure out the uh, power of five which is just less than number of buckets so let's say you have 1000 buckets so for 1000 buckets how many sheep do you uh, how many pigs do you require so for 1000 it would be just five pigs that you would be require, required because the range would come up with this 626 up to 3000 something so it would be 3000 so it is less than 3000 is less than uh, 1000 uh, sorry 3000 is greater than 1000 but greater than 626 that means we require 5 sheep for this so that's the solution that's that's the algorithm that we have introduced and that's the complete algorithm behind this problem now let's see this uh, algorithm in uh, the code and let's try to understand and uh, debug this uh, algorithm in code so if you like the explanation till now please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and also comment down below on any questions that you want us to solve for you guys. Now, this is the code that I have written in Golan, but if you understand the logic well, you can write this code in any language of your choice, whether Python, .NET, Java, JavaScript, any language that you uh, like. So this is totally language uh, independent, but I have written it in Go because that's my favorite language of choice. So now let's understand the algorithm with which we just discussed 
so over here uh, i am trying to find the number of uh, tests that can be performed in one cycle so this would be uh, minutes to test divided by minutes to die plus 1 so if you remember it was 16 60 minutes i had and uh, 15 minutes was time to die that was giving us 4 so 4 plus 1 was my number of tests that i can perform in the given time frame so that that, that is the number of tests that i can perform now let's say I have zero pigs initially. Now I'll keep finding a power of of this t, and that power is the number of pigs. So I'll keep increasing the number of pigs, and I'll see if that power is less than the number of buckets. If that's less than number of buckets, my answer is done. For example, I have let's say one thousand pigs uh, sorry 1000 buckets and for 1000 buckets i have uh, i have to uh, i have like time to die is 15 minutes and 60 is the total time to test now this i want to figure out a power of 5 which is less than 1000 so power of uh, 5 power 1 is 5 5 power 2 is 25 similarly 5 power 3 is 125 5 power 4 is 625 and uh, if i increment it plus 1 that is 5 power 5 that will be around let's say 3000 something uh, Let's not get into the exact value, but but that's that's definitely greater than 1000, right? So at this point in time, my condition will fail, right? That means my number of pig, pig count has gone to 5 and this condition went to false. That's, that's when the for condition breaks. So this is the number of pigs. Now this could have been solved with a log also. So we could have found the log of uh, the number of bucket to the base uh, to base 5 definitely and this would have resulted in 4 point something and we would have used math.seal function to push it to the upper part so that that means push it to 5 so that could have solved in uh, practically uh, order of 1 and but but this is the basic algorithm which we just discussed and you can further optimize it by using the logarithmic functions that that is up to you but i just wrote the algorithm as code so that it is easier for you guys to understand so over here you see math dot power uh, 5 to the power 0 then 1 then 2 and i keep doing it so this is how i found it uh, and this is how the solution is uh, finding this number of pigs so that's it for this video today and in case you like the video and it was helpful for you please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel also comment down below in case you want any particular question from lead code or geeks for geeks to be solved by us on golan or any other topics that you want us to cover for you guys using golan so go ahead and comment down below as much as you want any topic on uh, golan using golan we we appreciate you guys to do that